everyone. A few weeks ago, my wife has bought in second-hand shop something like that. This is a tea light holder. Very nice painted. I like this paint and the color of the paints. Gold and black and uh, on the purple on the red uh, background. Looks very nice. Uh, I drilled a hole to check what kind of wood it is, but still don't know. Maybe it is a beech wood or something like similar woods. So at first I will try to check what type of wood it is. I will put this on the chuck. Uh, my old chuck is pretty good to catch it in the in the in in this hole, and then I will remove a little on the bottom, a little uh, inside, and we will see what type of wood it is. Uh, if it is a good wood, I will make something to to cover the hole, the funnel, uh, and try to make a ball. I will try to leave the outside edge because it's very nice. Uh, maybe it's you will see the, here is a one crack inside. It's a little rustic, and I do, don't know will it will it not blow up. So keep the fingers crossed, and I'm going to the light and check what type of wood it is. Okay, the blank is on the chuck and works pretty nice in line. So I think it, there is a chance to make it something nice from it. Now let's see what is inside. Okay, and as you see, this is a alder wood, very cracked, and a lot of red marks in into the cracks, inside of the cracks. Uh, it will not be so pretty as I thought, but of course I will try to make something from it. How it will be looking after turning, I don't know. I will clean it up, send this and try to make something, some inset inside, nothing special, I think it will be just a piece of wood. Okay, and the center is glued inside into the funnel, but unfortunately this crack makes bigger and I don't know, should I turn it? Maybe the inside will keep the whole piece together and it will not fly away. The crag is not too big, but it's dangerous a little. And the whole, as you see, the whole bottom is cracked, so it will be very risky. I will try to turn it. I will risk it. I will take a risk, but I'm not sure will it work at all. And I think I will remove whole, uh, whole lacquer, whole paint from it, and I will try to make something from it.
Okay, Bowley send it up to 400 for now. I will apply a shell lock on it and send this once again with 400 grid and 600 grid to get the, to get a very smooth surface. It looks not bad now. We will see how it will be looking after shellac. Okay, bowl is sent it up to 600 now, and now I will use axe paste, sending paste at first uh, to send it a little again, and then I will apply a shellac, one coat, maybe two coats, and I will finish it with polish restoring paste from axe. axe. So I think it will be very nice finish because this is the end grain and it will be looking much better in this way Okay, and the bowl is almost finished. I need, have to only cut it off. Very nice shine, very nice grain. It's not like a alder wood, but the color is the same. It's very weird for me. The grain, the pores looks like from walnut. The ambrosia is like from maple. Color is from alder wood. I don't know. It's totally mix of the woods <laughs> inside but I think it's a some type of alder wood but the, uh, this piece I have from England so maybe somebody from England will be know what type of wood it is and we, if you know just please write in the comment everybody is curious what it is <laughs> 